Knox. God's gang, it just is that it is. Every, this is how God released it to me and this is what saved my life. Okay, so there's nobody debating God's gang out here. You can try to be God's gang. If you ain't, you'll be exposed that you're not. Uh, uh, it's, it's like, it's like, God's gang just is that it is. Like, I am that I am. There's no change in what God is. God is everything. He's everything. And God's gang is already established. There's already a, a book of life. Your name's in it. You know what I'm saying? There's already a destination we're heading towards. There's already a kingdom that's coming. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? So, God's gang is every believer that's name is in the book of life that denied himself for Christ. Every martyr, every... Uh, saint, every uh, servant, every disciple in Yeshua, every chosen vessel is God's gang. You, know, you see what I'm saying? So that's what I rap. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people think it's just a rap group or evangelism team or whatever, whatever. Nah. If you believe, then you're in God's gang, which I call Yah's gang. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it the bride of Christ. Matter of fact, um, I'm actually leaning more towards Yeshua's bride. The gang part I left on specifically as a piece of bait for the world. I really ain't chipping on gang stuff. But a gang of the world is. Matter of fact, gangs are like an epidemic. They're the ones selling all drugs. They're the ones doing all prostitution. They're the ones all throughout the country forming all these little mobs and stuff. So if, if I go up to the homie the, that's banging and repping the world, I'm like, man, I'm from Yah's gang. We eternal. It's the only eternal gang. The only holy gang. The only gang that's going to ever last, homie. God's gang. Does have the potential, if it's the right time, to plant a seed or water a seed that's been planted and have such a great impact on a soul, it's where is your faith at? It's bold as a lion out here. So you gotta hit these gang members, like man, I'm in God gang. And it's what it's saying is your time is short. If you in God's gang, you better know that you are. You see what I'm saying? So that's how I speak to the kids. I don't care if they get scared, you gotta have the fear of God. If I could if I as a man could put the fear of God on somebody. <laughs> I'm not even walking around with no strap out here. I I see kids strapped up. I'm like, what you need that for? You go and pull that on somebody that's serving the devil who's straight up a pervert, homosexual leader agenda. So you serving a pervert. So what's that make you? You know what I'm saying? So that's a homosexual act to be uh, pulling a strap. Besides, we already know people that hide behind guns because they got insecurity problems. You know what I'm saying? And actually, the pride, pride in itself is a manifestation of great insecurity. And that's why men got so much pride, they got a lot to hide. I know the truth can get me killed one day. If I speak enough of it, somebody's going to get so mad. And if it's my time to go, because I also got faith that you can't kill me unless God orders it. So that's why we ain't got no fear because God's in control. If I start fearing that this other man can take me out, then all of a sudden I put them in the predicament above God, and then he's like, where's your faith? Like, I, I, all of a sudden it's doubtful that God's got me and got my back gonna protect me so I can protect my family. You know what I'm saying? And so that, God's not pleased with that. I wanna please God, so by faith I need to please God. And by faith I'm out here saying, God's gang is the entire body of Christ. It's every uh, the saved person, meaning each person when the harvest comes through and the wheat and the tares are, are, are harvested and you pull the weed out and the tares go in the fire, the wheat that's left, that's God's gang. That's Yah's gang. That's Yahovah's gang. You know what I'm saying? That's the church. That's the bride of Christ. Yeshua's bride. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what it is. Nobody can tell me it's something different. They can say, well, that's just your little crew, or that's 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 the uh, the uh, you know what I'm saying church that you were uh, uh, established through the government system, and you got it on paper. Nah, man. The only way that God dropped it on me was not something that could be copywritten. It's set in stone. It's just as set in stone as the command. It's it's God. You feel what I'm saying? Without God having a people, why do you need a God? And without uh, uh, us uh, having a God, why would we even need a life? It, it, it's God's gang. It's it's the it's the uh, culmination of uh, salvation. You know what I'm saying? It's it, the people dwelling with God and God tabernacling among his people. That's God's gang. That's New Jerusalem. New Yerushalayim. You feel me? That is God's gang. 
you know, so that's what I'm saying. That's how black and white it is. It doesn't get more obvious. You know what I'm saying? We are the covenant keepers. We're the commandment keepers. We love God. Heart, mind, soul, strength. There's no no compromises, no, nothing less. Zero compromise, you feel me? That's how gangster it is on this side. God has his own definition of gangster, and I've said this before, but I'm just trying to tell people, gangster to me means supernatural blessing. Gangster to me means favor. Gangster to me means deliverance. Gangster to me means uh, souls are getting saved. You know what I'm saying? Gangster to me means be obedient and you say hallelujah. That's what gangster means to me. So who am I? I'm really nobody. I don't have a fan base. But what I speak is truth and I just stand on it to the death because I know it's God and I know it's truth and that's what's real. So... And I know if you got the truth, then you're hated for it. And I know a gang of people are really upset with me on my stance on immorality. But I'm not going to compromise to the point I'm on your size. <laughs> but not that, man. I'm kingdom cat. You know what I'm saying? Kingdom strap. I'm strapped with the kingdom. And that's just what it is what it is. And the Lord, if God be for me, who can be against me? Can you answer that? You know, so if I'm wrong, then expect God to chastise me and put me in check. Uh, Lord, rebuke me if I should be wrong. And at this point, I am in severe check. I'm in great submission and I'm in lockdown. God himself got me locked down. There's a gang of moves I would love to make. But they're not God's will, and it's not God's timing, and I have to seek the move of the Spirit, and so does everybody else out here if they want their ministry to uh, 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 produce fruit. You see what I'm saying? It's not just about you and seeing your vision come to pass. It's about whether or not God is behind that vision according to the spiritual leading. Uh, you know, God's spirit leading you to do it, and you get in the word and the confirmation, the quickening of the spirit, and that peace pertaining to that move. Now, if you're out of peace, then maybe you need to, you know, go back to the drawing board, get back in the prayer closet, and chill, and wait for God to move again, because God been rebuked the crap out of me a gang of times, and that's why I'm exactly where I know I need to be, you know what I'm saying, loving my wife like Christ loved the church, and raising my son in the admonition of the Lord right now. But I'll just go on to say this, we're known by our fruit and everything, you know what I'm saying, God's gang, people think I have money, I never had no money, man. I lived in a little $500 broken down country house and I was working at the golf course making $1,800 take home salary, which is big to me. In fact, that's the biggest money I ever made. You know what I'm saying? It's not enough to be a rap star, I'll tell you that. You can't even buy no gold with it, you know what I'm saying? But God made a way. He had me rent, uh, you know, in a house that I really couldn't afford for the dirt. That was God's provision. And then I ended up selling my Cutlass that I barely had, and it was my dream car on all gold ones. I sold it so I could go fly to the Philippines and get my wife. And then she come back here. We're fasting for 40 days. And a lady that I barely know, for real, wrote me a check at Olive Garden for $50,000 for the ministry. And I was fasting for 40 days. And you can best bet my mind was blown and I believe you know what I'm saying and then and then even the story behind what we did with the money it's like the alabaster jar I just dumped it on Jesus feet real quick now I can also admit that I didn't really have much of a leading from the spirit I was so going I was going so hard so fast that I wasn't even really considering what God wanted you know what I'm saying? I was just going. And and so that's where, you know, God's grace is sufficient. And and I like to dump the whole cologne bottle on Jesus' feet. I really like to do that. I don't care about houses and money and 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 setting my family up for the future. Although I know it's wisdom to operate, you know, in wisdom pertaining to some things. But, you know, right now I'm seeking out how do you find a balance between being Arthur Blessed, losing everything, carrying a cross all over the whole world, you know what I'm saying, raising the bar of Christianity on everyone, and providing for your family and your seed for generations to come, setting them up, you know what I'm saying, 
then you got people saying everything in moderation so you can see my mind is just going whoa you know the gospel ain't no joke and that's why you need a leading if you're if god's calling you to run out there and just throw everything all your chips on the table for him and die for him right now then be obedient <laughs> you know there's a part of me that's like maybe i'm supposed to do that but now that i'm married with kid you know maybe god's called me to a little more toned down uh persistent and uh, a life of longevity then again maybe it's tribulation i'm finna be raptured right into the bridal chamber <laughs> in a hot second you know and i just bless all y'all right now in the name of yeshua for his perfect glory